Great Outdoor Family. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is James. It's good to meet you guys. So this morning we are back in beautiful Destin, Florida, one of the most incredible fishing destinations on the Gulf Coast. So it is bright and early right now. It's about 7 a.m. and I woke up at four o'clock this morning to make the journey down here and make sure that we were set up right at that sunrise. The reason that we are here so early is because in that last video, when Brian and I were on our way down to the city of Destin, in this shallow, crystal clear water out here along the side of the highway, we looked out from the cars we were going past and we saw a school of gigantic redfish just absolutely crushing bait up in like six inches of water. So I've been thinking about those redfish for about a week now and uh, I finally couldn't take it anymore. So we're back here bright and early this morning we're gonna go out and we're gonna spend probably about three or four hours we're working our way up and down the shoreline here and seeing if we can sight fish some redfish from this crystal clear emerald shallow water and then we're gonna come back to the launch pack the kayak up and drive down to the bridge and see if we can also get on a good sheep's head bite today so we have a lot of ground to cover hopefully lots of fish to catch as well so i'm gonna get the boat in the water we're gonna get after it and i will see you guys when we get out there guys can see all of this vegetation here and then we've also got that beautiful white sandy bottom which should theoretically make it pretty easy for us there's a lot of bait right here i know you guys probably can't see it on the gopro but there's a lot of bait pushing up through here so anyway what i was saying is that sand um, should theoretically make it pretty easy for us to see any fish that are going to be hanging out up here on this flat because they're going to be dark against that white sand so that's awesome and uh, seeing all of that bait going by is also a really really good sign for this spot so we've got some really really good dock structure all through here so we're going to start the day out with uh, this little swim bait here um, this has some really really nice action in the water i really like this swim bait and i've caught plenty of redfish on it before so i know it's something that will spark their interest and the other reason that we're going to throw the swim bait is because it's only about three inches long and with how crystal clear and calm this water is right now if there is anything hanging out in this dock structure chances are it's going to be very very spooky and it's going to be very aware of our presence if we're throwing a large swim bait in or we're getting too close and then i've got a 20 pound um, fluorocarbon leader about four foot long so hopefully that should be stealthy enough for us so let's start working some of this dock structure and uh, see if we can find some redfish Oh. Rookie mistake, James, what are you doing? I cannot believe that I just prematurely set that hook. There we go. Got him. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can back off the structure here so we don't Totally spooked the rest of them out. Oh, that's a nice one too. <sighs> Got him. Whew get a quick measure on this guy here so let's see from tip of the tail to uh, tip of the snout looks like he's about 30 so um, that's a great start to the day we've only been at it for maybe uh, 10 minutes now but there's a little look at that guy we're gonna send him right back um, 30 inch red to start the morning off after about 10 minutes of fishing so, here he goes All right, sweet. 10 minutes into the trip and we already caught an overslot redfish, sight fishing in crystal clear shallow water. I mean, it doesn't really get much better than that. So let's uh, cruise back up into this dock structure, nice and slow like, and see if uh, maybe we can get another one. All 
Right, we've been chasing those redfish around for about 45 minutes to an hour now, and uh, unfortunately the wind has picked up pretty bad out here, which makes it really choppy and difficult to see down into the water. So we keep ending up right on top of those fish, which is just spooking them more and more. And they're definitely not gonna take the bait now, and I can't even stay on the spot anyway. So we're working our way down the beach a little bit. We'll see if we see anything. If it looks good, maybe we'll fish it for a few minutes. And uh, if we get something cool, if we don't, we'll head back to the truck here in a couple of minutes, load the kayak up, and head down to Destin Bridge, where hopefully we can find ourselves some sheep's head today as well. Alrighty guys, well, uh, this is unfortunately not gonna work. I got about a half mile down the beach and the wind really picked up to about 15 miles an hour. So I turned around, we're heading back to the launch now. The wind is coming out of the west for the rest of today, which means that because the Destin Bridge runs from east to west, hopefully the banks and all of the buildings on either side of that bridge will kind of shelter from the wind a little bit, but we'll just have to go down there to find out. Yeehaw, Woo. a little tippy there. Okay, so definitely not calmer over here. It's probably about twice as bad, actually. Um, we got the boat launched, that went absolutely fantastic. I got both my feet soaking wet and almost fell in the water trying to detach us from the pier, so that was fun. Under the bridge here, it does actually seem much calmer than it does back out there. Um, all of this structure of the bridge kind of blocks that wind. Um, so I'm gonna stay hopeful. We're gonna go find a piling. I'm gonna scrape some oysters. That's what we're gonna be using for bait today. If you guys saw that last video that I filmed at this bridge, um, a gentleman showed us how to break oysters off the pilings and use those for bait. And we just absolutely slayed the sheep's head all day long. So we're gonna see if we can do that again. Um, let's go find some oysters, find a spot, get set up and see if we can find some fish. Right, nice and calm over here on this side. It's protected by uh, you know the boat channel and these big structures here. So I got myself some oysters, um, really simple thing to do. I've got a scraper along with me, but you don't even really need a scraper to uh, you know, collect these things. You can kind of just come up to the piling. Some of them will be loose and you can just kind of uh, pop them off the wall, throw them in your boat just like that. So I think we're gonna start um, on this piling over here. Um, this is probably one of the more wind protected ones just because of the boat channel. Basically, all you have to do to get one of these things rigged up to where a fish will come along and grab it is just use your pliers and just kind of crack it open just like that. Take chunks of it and put it right on your hook, right through that nice thick muscle. Let's uh, drop this bad boy down and see if anybody's home. Hopefully there's some sheep down there cruising through all of this structure looking for something to eat. All right, so I worked a bunch of those pilings behind us there. Haven't had any nibbles yet. So we're gonna try um, fishing this structure here at the center of the boat channel. As soon as these uh, swells go by, I'm gonna go ahead and drop on down. One time I take the camera off, finally got hooked up on one. Redfish, nice. Nice redfish. 
that's not what we're after, but we'll definitely take them over catching nothing out here. Oh man, this is awful. There it goes. Oh. All right, now we're out here in the ugly water again. So let's uh, get back under that bridge real quick. I'll take a look at this guy. Definitely weren't losing that one. Oh, this wind, man. All right, let's tuck back up in our little spot here so we can get this fish out and measure him real quick. This wind is just taking me all over the place. It is impossible to stay where I want. All right, get the bum board out. If this guy's slot, I might have to keep him. Not sure yet. on the bumper let's see what we're looking at here yeah he's a quarter over quarter over slot all right there's a look at that red fish just pulled out of the pilings here he is a quarter inch over slot so unfortunately that guy's got to go back he's not going to join us for dinner tonight but uh hey at least we're catching something It's super rough. Oh god, it's super rough and disgusting out here. Yeah, no way guys. It is way too dangerous to be out there in the kayak today in those conditions. So I finally just had to make the decision it was time to head back to the boat launch. So we're gonna have to cut this video a little bit short. I hate to do that to you guys, but it is not worth risking my life just to catch a couple of fish. By the time we got back to the boat launch, the wind was gusting 26 miles an hour and I had white caps just crashing over the boat from all directions. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I almost went in the water a couple of times and even though I had my PFD on and I'm a pretty experienced kayaker as well as a swimmer, um, that would have not been good. Um, especially out there in Destin where the current just rips through those pilings. If you go in the water, you can get in trouble very, very fast and it's just, it's not worth it guys. It's just a fish. As much as I love catching fish, you know, I, I know that. So. It is what it is, guys. We'll go out another day. We'll catch more fish. Um, there's always tomorrow. And tomorrow, actually, the wind is supposed to be really nice, um, according to my app. So maybe we'll give it a try then. But for now, we are uh, making our way back to Pensacola. Um, I was debating on whether I was going to use this footage and try to turn today's experience into a video. We did catch two really, really nice redfish, and I'm extremely stoked about that one that we caught earlier this morning, sight fishing off those dots. That was super cool. Um, but the real reason that I decided I think I am gonna turn this into probably a relatively short video for you guys is to give you guys the advice that I just gave you. No matter how experienced of a kayaker or swimmer you are, if you go in the water, it can be very, very dangerous, very, very fast, and it is not worth it just to catch a couple of fish. And that's coming from a guy that loves catching a couple of fish so it is what it is guys like i said we'll go out another day we'll catch more fish there's always tomorrow because i decided to get off the water and uh, keep myself alive instead of potentially flipping the boat and who knows what would have happened after that so i hope you guys had fun coming along on this adventure down in destin florida with me today honestly you probably had a little bit more fun than i did because i am soaking wet i'm cold and uh, i don't want to say it was miserable but it wasn't like greatest experience especially doing all that work of loading and unloading the kayak twice just to catch a couple of red fish that I could have caught in Pensacola I mean you know it is what it is guys so anyway I hope you had fun thanks for coming along on another adventure and as always guys I look forward to seeing you on the next one